Hello everyone, Alan Abbott here from the Office of Philanthropy and just reaching out to let you know that we're going to start something and share something with you on a regular basis called Living Water for Thirsty Souls. And you know, during this difficult and unusual time, we're taking care of ourselves in so many ways and that needs to include your spiritual self. And that's why we're just going to give ourselves a moment of pause to reflect on some of the things that nourish our spirits. So I'm blessed to be here today with our guest, Lynn Huber, and we're going to bring you some words today. What about today? What is our theme? Today's theme is endurance. Very good. We've selected some favorite readings for you. Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And God answers, those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. In a scripture reading about endurance, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what was planted, a time to kill and a time to heal. Many years ago in the Middle Ages, the greatest pandemic of all time swept through Europe Western Asia and Northern Africa. You know it as the, blue, as the bubonic plague, also called the Black Death. Nearly 200 million people died during that. In the city of Norwich, England, there was a woman by the name of Julian, and she lost her family during that plague. She was quarantined in a cell that was part of a local church. But from her window, she could preach and proclaim positive words of hope and endurance. And the people would listen through their windows or from the street below. And during times of distress, God still speaks to us with words of assurance and hope. So in the words of Julian of Norwich, all will be well, all will be well. All manner of things will be well. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. May God's light shine upon you. And may you feel God's presence within you always. And may you find peace. Amen. God bless. Take care.